everyone, Teal Ring here from Professionals Insight Realty. We have a little bit of a different video today. I'm interviewing Joe Lapoitevin, our Senior Property Manager. Um, both of us have actually been a little bit apprehensive about this over the last um, probably two weeks since I told you we were doing this, asked you if we could do this. Um, so this is Joe Lapoitevin for everyone who hasn't met her or has only spoken over the phone and um, you'll be able to put her face to the name now. Hopefully you get a bit more of an insight into Joe and my personality and how we work together um, and hopefully you get a few laughs as well today. So welcome Joe. Welcome to you. <laughs> um, so, my first question to you is, you've been at our office for three years, um, you've been a property manager and involved in real estate for 10 years, and previous to that, you've done other things. Where would you place your current position um, within your career, high, medium, low, doesn't even register because it's so bad? <laughs> Where would you, yeah, and talk to me about how you place it. Okay, so in the 10 years that I've been in property management, I've worked in three real estate offices, mm -hmm. um, obviously been with you for three years, yeah. and first as Go Gecko, and then you made the great change to professionals, yes. um, and it sort of has always been a more relaxed, um, friendly atmosphere, mm -hmm. um, we get on quite well together, yeah. um, and which is good because our roles are quite stressful, mm. hectic, busy. We can come back to the office, yeah. we can have a laugh with each other, we can act a bit crazy. Yep. <laughs> and so that certainly helps like the situation. Mm. Um, but definitely being here at Professionals, um, I've always said has been the best. Yeah. Um, so due to the job and also to um, after hours, yeah. um, socially also. Yeah. Alrighty, so my next question hopefully won't be too shocking for me or for any of you. Um, so my next question is, what would you tell the owners so they get a bit of an insight into my management kind of style or my, yeah, what would you tell them? <laughs> um, you have been and are a great manager. Okay, um, it's really quite funny. I sort of worked you out not long into the job. Yep, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I always know sort of um, from your body language expressions how you're feeling <laughs> and what's your day going to be like. Oh, so um, I know Teal doesn't like anybody going into her office mm -hmm. and especially near her desk and touching anything on her desk is always a big issue. It's definitely um, a no-go zone. <laughs> so we've also, well, Till devised, um, yeah. after our last year's Christmas party, um, <laughs> if this tinsel is on her office door, by no means <laughs> enter. <laughs> <laughs> so that was always quite interesting. So if I go and I see this, I generally back off for a couple of days and then I know that I'm right. <laughs> also too, we do challenges, Teal and myself, um, to improve our stats here in the office and to sort of see where we're travelling and those stats get done every month and we, or Teal crazily writes them on the wall of the office. Yeah, that's funny. If our landlord came in, she would just see handwriting <laughs> everywhere. And if any of you have ever seen my handwriting, like, it's probably the worst. It doesn't even, <laughs> like, I don't even, it's, yeah, it's pretty shocking. Um, so, it's interesting how at Routon Inspections we tell tenants not to put blue tack or anything on the walls, yet here I am crazily writing on the, <laughs> on the walls. Okay, so that was a little bit of information um, about me. Okay, so my next question is, um, what would, not that I think there's a normal day in property management, but what would be a normal kind of day for you 
in property management. Okay, like you said, there's no sort of normal. Every day is sort of different, but I do sort of have an ideal day plan that I try mm -hmm. and stick to. Yeah. Um, so most of my, um, of the week of the morning, so I'm in the office, yeah. um, and that's mainly handling emails, um, maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes that could be up to 10 in an hour, just yeah. trying to um, tidy up that sort of database and keep it like in control and how many are outstanding and yeah. where everything's at. Yeah. Also to um, I set time aside for arrears, which is yes. about an hour in the mornings. Um, that's, you know, contacting tenants, um, hey, where's your rent, what's happening. Yeah. Issuing the notices if necessary, you know, updating the owners, keeping a handle on trying to, because that's one of the challenges in the office that I desperately want to win is um, the lowest rent arrears. I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's part of the day. Then um, generally lease renewals, following up on those. Also then lunch and then after lunch it's routine inspections. Um, and then out of office if it's entries, exits, and then come back to the office, tidy up for the end of the day and then it's home. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty full on day and every day you need to do every task. Yes. You can't really have maintenance Monday, you know, arrears Tuesday. It's an hour a day on every single task. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I do mine as well. Um, so going into the future how would you could you improve um or how would you kind of see your role developing and changing and what would kind of be your ideal role within this office as well that was like seven questions in one <laughs> <laughs> ideally with technology and how it's going um everything on laptops, iPads, mm, yeah. so you can carry on working um, if you don't come into the office and ideally like have one or two days per week at home. Mm. I certainly don't mind doing a bit of um, work after hours or you know on the weekends, so that would be a great help. I would like, um, as Teal, would, Teal knows Chloe, yeah. my... Um, personal assistant so just how in property management um you get so tied down with paperwork yeah um following up following up mm. is a, a lot of time used yeah um and just to have that person that knows the role you could come in put your folders down and chloe would know exactly what to do yeah and that would sort of I would like to spend more time communicating with tenants and owners um, and unfortunately sometimes that gets lost because of time mm. spent elsewhere yeah um, but that would be my yeah ideal my ideal so Chloe's a made-up person that doesn't actually exist that Joe and I fantasize about where we come into the office after a routine inspections exits and um, entry condition reports that we kind of give all the paperwork to Chloe and she deals with it. Whereas at the moment where we do rent arrears, maintenance, lease renewals, and we're typing everything up, we're emailing the tenants all the time, we're not having much time on the phone with owners and tenants. There's a lot of back work that's kind of holding us up. Um, mm. So I agree 100% with that, definitely. Um, so how have you found your first interview? Exhilarating. <laughs> How funny. All right. Thanks so much, everyone, for listening. Um, I hope you had a few laughs and got to know us a little bit better. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And remember, we are looking to grow the rent roll. We are trying to reach some targets, hit some goals, win some more awards. So um, please, please, please recommend us to your friends and family. Um, we'd really appreciate that. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.